Hi, Sylvia Garanzak here, and I am a Gel Moment independent distributor. I love nail art, and I thought that I would cover how to do this negative heart nail art. How about that? So the only thing that I'm using here is Raven's Kiss Champagne Toast Bellissima Clearly Frisky. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm just using uh, the black and the Bellissima here, which is the silver here, just to kind of make it really pop. But like I said, if you wanted more traditional Valentine's colors, you can use that too. This can be used, this design can be used for pretty much any day. So how about we get right to it? To start off with the negative effect, what I have on as a base is Champagne Toast, which is a sheer nude color. So that's how you get that negative look, right? So I have Raven's Kiss on my little palette here and I'm just using the striper brush and coating all the bristles. And we're gonna start with just drawing the outline of our heart. Okay, that looks good. So now what you can do with this brush is kind of line, it's gonna be really hard to take the brush of this to fill in the spot beside the heart. So I am just taking this and filling it in in the tight spots. And then what I'll do is I'll take this, um, this as I point off camera, I'll take the brush from the Raven's Kiss to fill in the larger spots. Okay, so I'm just taking my brush. I'm gonna take the majority of the polish off here because you don't wanna have too much polish on your brush. And then I'm just filling it in. If you find that it's too hard to use the brush from the bottle, you can always use your striper brush to fill in the spots too. Whatever is your preference. And let's give this a full cure. So now to make this black really pop and be opaque because the first coat is a bit thin, I'm just retracing my heart and then I will fill in the black again. next step is to outline this heart with a little bit of Bellissima. You can use cocktail dress, Eleganza, any of our reflective polishes or any sparkle polish. I chose these ones because they're quite opaque. I love Bellissima. I love these new these uh, reflective polishes. So I'm, again, I'm just using the same brush. I cleaned it off with a little bit of alcohol from the cleanser pad and I'm just coating all of the bristles. So now I am just outlining the heart. And that'll be it. And then we'll give this a full cure at the end. And you know what's next? I bet you can't guess what's next. If you are a frequenter of my channel, then you know that I always like to follow up all of my nail art with a coat of Clearly Frisky, Simply Clear or Gel Extend, just to smooth everything out uh, and just finish off the, the nail art. I just love how it settles into it because the it will be a little bit raised with the Bellissima on the edge of the, or any kind of polish that you choose actually, on the edge of the heart. So this just kind of smooths everything out. And we'll give that a full cure. And here it is. I'm gonna do another heart on here, but I'm going to angle the heart opposite to this so that the peaks will kind of be touching each other. Well, not touching each other, but you know, pointing in the same direction as each other. So stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see my complete look when it's done. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll always know when I'm uh, posting my next video. Thanks so much and ciao, ciao for now.